Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the classic lead sound from Sandstorm. All right, I think you get the idea. So first things first, let's turn off all of our effects here and let's talk about the oscillators. So first thing is the square wave, our first oscillator, and that's gonna be up one octave here. And then for the second oscillator, it's gonna be a saw wave down 19 semitones to so an octave and then another seven after that. So one thing I did change here for my patch is I put sync on the second oscillator and turned it about 34.36% if you want that exact value. I felt that sounded a little closer to the actual sound. So yeah, so that's why that is there. The uh, the envelope attack is, let's see what this is exactly, 0 0.015. So relatively quick attack, but it kind of gives that pumping sound a little bit. The decay is one second, sustain is all the way up at one, and release 0.048. So then we go down to the filter, and this is going to be a high-pass filter, 12 dB, and the cutoff is exactly 175.4 hertz. I put the voices on one, so basically mono, and then let's jump into the effects now. So first thing, I put a compressor on here, and this is kind of to taste, to kind of, I guess, get closer to the sound as well. You can kind of experiment with that as well. And then the distortion, I used a hard clip. The drive I put at 5.761 db and then the mix is 0.221 cutoff i did use a post filter here cutoff is going to be 9 hertz or 9301 hertz resonance 42.83 percent and then the blend is all the way to the left at zero and then next i used an eq to kind of bring up a little bit of lows here and then cut out a little bit of the mud as well so that kind of kind of gets a little bit closer to the tonality of the actual sound itself and i used a little bit of reverb here so this low cut is going to be 20.41, high cut is at 3692, and then cutoffs all the way down, chorus down, delay down, mix is 24.34%, so really not that much. The time is 0 0.043, this kind of just gives it a little bit of space. Size is 50%, this one's all the way down here, this chorus frequency, and the gain is, I guess, negative 0 0.003 kind of weird but yeah so that's what that's at i also put on the mixer track here for this for the lead i put a little bit of extra overdrive on it here i felt it kind of added a little bit to it which makes it a little bit more dirty and then i added some post reverb here with valhalla vintage verb right here and i'm, I'm sending it to this reverb just a little bit here as you can see in the bottom hand corner so that's pretty much this patch in a nutshell. At first you might think it's a gate and it might well be on the very original patch, but I found it was easier to just key in the notes here as you can see in the uh, playlist here. These are actually individual notes here. So it's not a gate, it's just hitting the notes really, really fast. And then one last thing to keep in mind is these two oscillators, mixing them really can change the sound drastically. So it's really fine tuning with your ear to mix these two together. So the levels for these exactly, in case you're curious, the first square wave is at 0.248 and the saw wave is at 0.745. So just adjusting those a little bit can really have a big effect. So for example, kind of totally changes the patch or if we had too much square wave. All right, so that is the patch. Hopefully you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.